EMC family, we've got some opportunities coming up in the next few days that I want to tell you about as we try as a congregation to gather and grieve and remember. You know, so many of our rituals in our church's life have had to be suspended through these COVID days. And one of the most significant is the way that we gather and grieve together upon the loss of a loved one. We have had some creative ways of adjusting that we've tried to use to accommodate different households and families in our church. But we wanna create two special ways that we can gather as a community safely to be able to do this work of grieving and remembering together. So the first day that I wanna tell you about is on Tuesday, January 19th, the day before the inauguration. On the 19th, there is going to be a national moment of unity and remembrance for our entire nation to remember those who have died, over 300,000 people who have died from COVID since March of 2020. At 5.30 Eastern time, bells will peal in churches and all other houses of worship around the nation to be in solidarity and witness and comfort for those loved ones who are missing someone who has died of COVID. The way that we will gather is at 3.30 on Tuesday, January 19th in our church parking lot for a 20 minute service of ringing bells at the same time that they will be rung in Washington and also lifting up some prayers for those whom we have lost. You can drive to that time, you can come and sit in a chair or just stand and be socially distanced and masked for that time of remembrance. If you can't join us or don't feel comfortable doing that, you can also go on to AUMC's Facebook page where we will be showing this national moment of unity and remembrance here at AUMC live through Facebook Live. The second opportunity that we are going to create to gather and remember is on Sunday, January 31st. On the 31st, uh, during our regular service of worship, we are actually going to have a live service of worship broadcast at 8 o'clock a.m. on AUMC's YouTube page, which is usually where you would find our weekly recorded service. By doing this live service in the sanctuary, we will have no one in the sanctuary pews, but that you will be able to watch live and later as a recorded service. We are going to be lifting up the names of loved ones and friends in your lives who have died from last March 2020 until now. They do not have to be lost to COVID, but for any reason, as you remember them and as we grieve together, we invite you to send their names to the church using this website link or also calling the church office and letting us know the names of those loved ones they will actually be incorporated into that service of worship as we see those names scrolled on our screens and as you're able to remember that that great cloud of witnesses that surrounds us, that great cloud of saints who continues to worship and pray with us is with us, holding us and holding our hearts as we grieve and remember. You know, a congregation of faith, a people of God, are a people who weep together and rejoice together. We do the rejoicing part really well, and we also need to do the weeping part together. So find a way as you can to connect to either one of these experiences on January 19th and January 31st, and be blessed in knowing that we never do grief work alone but with a community of faith that holds us and strengthens us in God's love.